Hello, I'm Chris Osmond, and this is Solutions. Enough complaining, let's fix America. I know the title may seem a bit on the nose, but like my book of the same name, its intention is to report on some of the sol solutions and answers that we may have to some of the biggest issues facing America and the world today. Unlike mainstream media, which reports on the issues and talks about all the, the biggest problems that we have today in America, this video series will hopefully provide hope to those people and give reassurances to those people who have felt lately that our country is not willing to protect them in this time of need. Before, however, we get to those solutions and answers, I would like to define the term nation or country because a lot of people don't realize that it is a man-made construct. And the biggest proof of this is that you can go anywhere in the nation and anywhere across the world for the most part, and you will not find naturally occurring delineations between states or different countries. While there are instances where island nations have natural borders or called oceans or seas or, or whatever a body, body of water surrounds that nation, and there are mountain ranges that do separate sovereign nations, for the most part, you cannot tell when you leave one state or another. Yeah, of course, there's the welcome to blah, blah, blah signs that uh, tell you that you're crossing from one state to another. But just stand next to that sign, take one foot, a step, one foot to your right or to your left of that sign, spin around, close your eyes for a couple minutes, and then try to determine which state you're in without opening your eyes. You will not find any natural uh, border uh, that will help you make that determination. Now, um, and now that we've determined that a nation is a man-made construct, let's go further into that definition. Uh, basically, what has happened with most nations is that someone had to come up and say, well, from here to here is Georgia. And it, whether that be in America or whether that be in Eurasia, Georgia had to be defined by somebody. And then a committee of someone's had to agree to with that somebody that that's what it was going to be called. And then a larger committee of someone's had to agree with the first committee. And eventually a nation's worth of someone's had to agree that that nation truly existed. And then once that happened, that nation existed as long as those people believed in it or until a horde of barbarians um, basically uh, massacred it into oblivion. Now, if a nation is a man-made construct and relies on the people to believe in it to exist, shouldn't that nation want to take care of those people? Take America, for example, the world's richest country to ever exist in history. America, where 40% or 40 million people um, suffer from its food insecurities, insecurities on a daily basis. America, where 40% of the food that's produced here is wasted and thrown away in the garbage. America, where we only have 5% of the world's population, but we incarcerate 25% of those incarcerated around the world. And another statistic that's coming up lately is that, yes, America does only have 5% of the world's uh, population, but we have over 25% of the COVID-19 cases in the world. There's something wrong with that picture. There's something wrong with all of those pictures that I just presented. Uh, because in America, we have a policy where our leaders continually said, how are you going to pay for that? when it was something that would benefit the majority of the people of this nation. While once we have uh, uh, economic downturn, they simply find money to print out of thin air. Trillions of dollars are going to the soon-to-be trillionaires. And that's not you or me. The most, of the most of the people in this country are not going to be uh, rich because of our government giving them money. I mean, how can... The money, trillions of dollars, even be more than an abstraction or monopoly money to most people who in this country where we only have we have 44 percent of the nation only making eighteen thousand dollars per year. And that was before all the unemployment 
that has occurred since COVID-19. How is that possible for anybody to believe in the U.S. dollar when it's being stretched so thin and made so worthless to so many people around this country? Well, um, that is more or less uh, all I uh, wanted to talk about today. But in the next video, I would like to discuss why what our leaders could have done, the steps that our leaders could have taken to uh, mitigate some of the worst impacts of COVID-19. And I will also discuss why they will never or won't ever or didn't take those steps. And the reasons behind that uh, are, should be apparent by now because their actions are so apparent and transparent. It doesn't, it makes no sense that people still um, believe anything they say. Again, in this series, um, I would like to offer solutions, but as a secondary goal, I would awful, also um, actually like to uh, help people discern what their leaders say and how divergent it is from what their leaders do. So join me again tomorrow uh, when I will present the case for what America's leaders should have done to uh, mitigate and to keep people safe during this the time of quarantine for COVID-19. Again, this is Solutions. Enough complaining. Let's fix America. Thank you and good night.